Hi there all you e-bikers and bi bikers out there in general. Um, what I've been looking at lately is trailer for my bike. Thinking of kind of taking an older one and building one. But I was watching some other videos on the hitch to your trailer and how it has to turn, turn for your bike turning so it can tilt. It has to go up and down and then sideways as well so that you have all the, the axes covered and I was trying to work out how can you do this simplified and what I found in my shop here in the shelf for metal and that was an old tripod and this goes up and down round up and down and the ball will give you the up and down movement in the bike itself and we can still put something on the trailer here I'll just show you this on a close-up and what I did and uh, just so you know anyone else can go and try this as well so let's get to it yes this is just some of the concepts you have to think about when building a trailer hitch for your bike trailer hitch needs three pivot elements rotation for leaning the bike sideways there needs a rotation uh, pivot in your hitch sideways for turning left and right and up and down for the trailer bouncing up and down on a bad road or speed bumps or whatever so you need those three elements on your hitch the next thing is you must think about the further from the pivot point axis the more leverage or movement this upsets the balance of the bike especially when turning corners so a lot of the uh, bikes have a large axis by putting the trailer hitch up on the uh, saddle stem most trailer hitches on seat posts correct right there are some that are down here on the lug nut on one side which is strange as well because it comes out and it's pushing one side and causing a bit of a pullback on the one side of the bike so I'm not too sure why they designed it that way but you the movement up here by the seat post when turning corners and that and the pull is much much greater uh, kind of ru larger movement ruins your balance so so the back wheel axle is here and there's a shorter movement here on the back of the bike here than up here because of this leverage this is the pinpoint or the turning point down here on the road the axis so it's shorter movement so it's less my uh, so there's less um, loss of balance on the bike now my trailer hitch brackets both sides and comes up both sides of the bike and goes across the back the hitch is in the center of the bike so that's where I positioned my my idea of a tripod head because it had three pivot points okay and it's in the center of the bike so the rotations here for leaning for the bike to lean and then left and right the movement is is less especially on the um, tilt aspect of the bike and there you go but the, there's also what people don't know there's a push and pull on a trailer and the push and pull up here is much greater and uh, is uh, more difficult on balance than the push and pull down here lower down in the gravity area I have down here the note about one side trailer hitches push one side push and pull on one side only so basically this is the pivot point the same as what I've got drawn here and you can see I mean if you took this and you move it back and forth look at the top the way it moves and look at the way the bottom doesn't move hardly at all so that's my concept of why I'm designing my trailer hitch this way you have to kind of think about what, what you want and how you want to design your trailer hitch but these are my ideas and how 
I want, think I should design my trainer hitch. So I hope that helps you. Yeah, so what I got here is an old tripod, as you can see, and it has the bar coming out that extends. So all I'm working on now is just the head itself, which will be put onto the bike. So I'm thinking of putting this part where the camera used to go, connecting to the uh, hitch itself, I mean, sorry, to the bike, and then you'll have the sideways movement, you'll have your turn movement if the bike goes left or right, and then you'll have, on this end one here, you'll have a little bit of play for up and down. It's not very, um, it's not a great up and down, but on the other side here, you can still make another hitch that does the up and down more. So we have both sides. So, what have I done? I've taken out a lock washer in this, top of this head, and basically put a washer uh, in that will fit it, so it won't tighten up, and you can make it a little less play on this, or less loose. I like it loose at the moment. And I must get this handle out and put a screw in here, right? So it's not like it is now. And then basically, I'll put a screw in there, some kind of a screw into this now. And basically all I need is a bracket for my bike top. So I'm going to cut this, hang on, I'll show you. Cut this knurl off, this knurled screw off, and I can mount my attachment for my bike. So, not too bad at all. So I'll just cut this off and put a screw in there and we'll see what we got. It should be ready for fixing. <coughs> That's it off. Now I gotta try to get this out here. We've got to find some bolt that'll bolt in here so I can bolt it on a bracket. That's it. And I don't know which way this will go out. Of course, it's not going to go easy like always. Maybe it's the other way. Yeah. Here she comes. Ah, lovely. So now I got my bolt for my hitch right here. Bolt for the hitch, sideway movement, rotary movement, up and down movement. Okay. Cut off the handle. There's the thread. I just got to grind this round a little. And we'll put a slot in it for a adjustment. screwdriver in it. Put the tripod back piece together. Put a little slot in here so we can adjust the screw. If need be, like, you know. There we go. Oh, there it is. Let's do the bit of a burr off here.
there we go and we have our screw which is the old handle piece here right and we'll just put that in you can adjust it whichever way you want there we go so there we have it there's the nut and bolt for your bicycle bicycle um, clip or or mount to your bike which I'd like to put in the center of the back tire so it would be either this way here is to hitch your trailer that goes up and down and you already have some up and down movement up above by your bike right and as you can see because of leverage that's quite a bit of movement there already so that was just a short video on making a trailer hitch that has three moving points actually four when you put it on the when you actually make the trailer so I've got to go make myself a trailer now I suppose <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to use it for but it's just the fun of it the sport so I hope that hitch helps you out with your uh, project um, you get them the um, those old tripods and garage sales and church sales for three to five dollars sometimes sometimes even giving them away so that's what's great about here in Canada you can get those things anywhere for very cheap so gotta keep thinking outside the box so yeah so he's talking about my trailer hitch and how it's with an old tripod and now I just at the, for the time being I've made up my connection to my bike which will go on the back wheel come back the wheel is about here right and I like it down the bottom because of when you have the uh, trailer hitch down at the bottom of the bike the center of gravity is better so you're not pulling on the top of the bike back and forth or the weight of the trailer is not pulling you you know it can it, the weight pulling you back but also pulls you other ways so this is a better for me a better system makes sense and so I made it out of tubing that I had al aluminum tubing from an umbrella and pop riveted the corners with brackets that were from left over from something else they look like construction brackets so let's line this up this part is on the bike on the wheel this part is pivoting so you can go left you're never going to go that sharp right right if your bike tilts it can go sideways you can fall off right and the up and down is just this little bit here but when you look at the end of the lever it's quite a bit of leverage here just hope your car's not bumping that much I may put a little joint there to help that out but it may not be needed we'll go test it find out so that's where I'm at so it's all done bring it up a little closer so you can see there's the holes for the back wheel there's my uh, bracket I'll put it in the light here turn this light here a bit there's the, the two pop riveted brackets for the umbrella aluminum umbrella piece. I don't think they're going to break I put two two pop rivets inside here and four on these two brackets across with four for the pull and this is with the bolt now if you want to take your hitch off you either have to unscrew it here which may most likely be the best place to unhitch it to unhitch it right here or here one screw or down here with the bolt so there's different ways so now you can do a 360 on this now so that's okay for your cornering is 180 and for your up and down about 5 degrees or 10 degrees might add another hitch over here that's helped that where am I 
Yeah, on this end to help that put a hitch that goes up down as well. Off the trailer, two plates, that's all you need. Anyways, that's where I finished up at at the moment. So now we have the bicycle frame for the bicycle, for the back of the bicycle to hitch it on. Nothing like an umbrella. The great thing about using these umbrella stands is it's all aluminum, it's all light. You want this stuff to be light for your bike. You know, using metal is not, steel or metal is not the way to go. So yesterday I was making the bike hitch and I made this square piece at the bottom, but when I uh, went away from the bike and thought about it a bit, I realized what's going to prevent this from just dropping down on the ground or the hitch pushing it down. So I made these two cross brackets in here to support this hitch so it can't go down. And now, if the bike tilts, like this, out like this, tilting around the corner, there's this pivot here. And then if the bike goes up and down, there's a little bit of movement here, right, for the trailer. And then there's also the turning corners, which is plenty. You're never going to go more than this. It's like a 45. So I've covered it all. Now, if the up and down is a bit not enough, I'll put another, just a pivot on the back of that hitch here. I'll just do a, show you it on a close-up. So, there we go. I have it supported here this morning with these two brackets, which is brilliant. Um, there's a bolt right through here, like a threaded rod to hold these together. And it's both on the axis here, and it's up on the seat up there. So, you know, even if one point breaks, you'd get home or it'd be okay. Now, I don't know how this will hold up with the trailer, you know, pulling a, a trailer with weight on it and, you know, the pulling and everything, because this is quite light materials, tubing, and, but it'll be interesting to see. And with our tripod head, we should have easy biking, but once, you know, you never know until you test it. So. I'll have to get a trailer made up and we'll test it. Now, some people will say, why did you make it down behind the wheel so low? There's a reason behind this is when you bring from a trailer up to the top point here of your bike, it's, it's less stable the bike because it's, it's a, the pivot point. So when you lean over, your, your trailer is pulling on this. So you're leaning over, it's exaggerated everything, right? Whereas down here at the bottom of your, your area is less so. And so I reckon it's going to be better for balance and for pulling the cart. So this is my, my thoughts on it. My engineering thoughts on it, as you'd say, even though I'm not an engineer. But it's to do, it's like with batteries, the lower the battery to the gravity point, the better they are. The higher up, like the carrier ones, are, are a little bit uh, weighty on the top and it seems to kind of make when your bike goes a little sideways pull you over a little so basically the lower the battery on the bike the better so it's simple gravity low to the ground and that's why they're building the cars with the battery down in the bottom of the the floor as low to the ground as possible so there you go I do look it up a bit it's not like I make these things up I look it all up and I do a whole pile of research before I start doing these things to help myself out. But you know, this tripod thing's an accident. I was going through looking for something that had two points, and then I found this and had three points, and it has a ball bearing. I went, a ball leg, and I went, this is perfect. So it has like one, two, three, right? Which is great. One, two, and three, which is needed on a tow hitch. So, who's complaining, huh? It looks a little strange in the back, but it's free. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.